Hey everybody, what I'm going to be doing in this video today is I'm going to be talking about the comparison of Windows 98 and Windows 98 SE. A lot of y'all don't know of a difference between the original Windows 98 and Windows 98 second edition. Some people ask what's the difference between the two, so with that being said, I got a virtual machine of Windows 98 in VMware that I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate. So let's go ahead and start off with Windows 98 first edition. But yes, I do got the plus pack installed. desktop very similar to Windows 95 even though Windows 95 was the predecessor to Windows 98 but Windows 98 is basically Windows 95 with lots of improvements and you may notice that in first edition so I'm gonna show you the build number of course even though it does say 4.1 Point twenty two twenty two. Its original build number is four point one twenty nineteen ninety eight. But when you install like third party USB storage device drivers, it you some it somehow changed the build number. But the actual build number of Windows ninety eight is in DX Diag. I'm just gonna give it a little second or two. As you can see, this is the actual build number of Windows 98. Even though it uses, even though the USB drivers that I've installed are from Windows or Windows 98 second edition drivers, and yes. The highest version of DirectX you can use in Windows 98. First edition is 9.0C, as well as Internet Explorer 6 with Service Pack 1. But for Windows Media Player, you can go up to Windows Media Player 7.1 in Windows 98. But as you see, it's kind of very finicky because Windows 98 first edition is known for being very buggy. And the original Windows 98 even also includes the active movie control, but once you install Windows Media Player 6.04 or Windows Media Player 7, it replaces the active movie control. And the deluxe CD player is something that comes at plus 98. And you may notice on the, on the desktop you see this white MSN icon. That's an old version of, M of the MSN Explorer. Even though it's asking to put the Windows 98 disk, we're just going to go to the CAPS directory. But too bad, unfortunately, we can't install it, so. Ain't really much to show in first edition, but there's a common bug that's common in Windows that you can easily correct. Cause Windows 98 to crash if you do C colon slash con slash con. And I'm going to go ahead and shut this down because Windows 98 first edition happens to be very buggy. It's not like I was going to really keep this virtual machine though. 
I'm gonna have to shut it off by force. So let's open up 98 second edition. This is where you see some real changes and when the, some slight changes. So let's go ahead and log in. I use this one more than I use the Windows 98 first edition virtual machine in. And if you want to know what the version number of this one is, this one is 4.1.22.22a, while the original Windows 98 was 4.1.1998, when Windows 98 was released in June 98. 98 second edition was released around May 1999. As you may notice, you get a newer version of MSN Explorer, which is a red MSN and it replaces Internet Explorer 4 with Internet Explorer 5 even though both Windows 98 and 98 second edition of course can be obviously upgraded to version 6 which we all should know that and Windows 98 second edition also included improved USB support and even got the ability to install Media Player 9 in Windows 98 Second Edition, which is the last version of Windows Media Player to be supported on Windows 98, ME, and 2000. You still get the same visual elements. And Windows 98 even fixed a lot of software bugs in second edition but the only thing that second edition ha has that first edition got well actually with fir first edition got the channel bar which originally came from Internet Explorer 4 but 98 second edition doesn't include that since Internet Explorer 4 was replaced with IE5 and it also gives you in Windows Media Player 6.02 by default which you can easily replace it with 6.04 once you install certain versions of Internet Explorer, certain software. So you still get the same online services that come with the original Windows 98. And you still get your same features. You can still you can even use plus ninety eight as well. And you still get all the same optional components from the original, like you like you did in the original Windows ninety eight. The only thing this version of Windows ninety eight doesn't come with is Active Movie Control, which was replaced with Windows Media Player. So this is a little short overview. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. And I got a little filler video coming up for you guys, so stay tuned for that, and hope you guys enjoyed it, this little short comparison video, and thanks for watching.